All right, good evening, Fresh. You brought it to the table. <laughs> the refs. Kemper, what, what, what's happening? I mean, uh, week in, week out, there's always an issue. Not only South African games, but globally, there's always a challenge. You need a solution. If you've got one, a suggestion, what should be done? I just think from, so there's a lot of blaming the referees in a lot of different areas, not just us. I mean, Nick Berry had an indifferent game last week as well. Mm -hmm. So I think the important thing is, one, getting to know your referees, getting to realise, yes, that they do err, they are human. I think more importantly, we had at Stu Berry, they had a chat to a, a group of us coaches. Um, you know, they've got families as well. So when you start having a, a crack at them on social media, it becomes a very personal thing that their families can read just as much as the individual can. Um, but I think, you know, we bang on about the deficiencies that they have or the calls that they might have missed. In generally, it's for both sides. It's not that one referee is specifically going out to try and have a crack at an individual or at a country. Um, but I think we just need a more measured approach from a South African point of view on how we approach referees, how we slam them or damn them, as opposed to, you know, saying thank you for the game, let's move on and, and do the right thing and go through the right channels. I know that... Uh, I. Director of Rugby has gone through other channels in previous times, but I think there comes a point where you really you've got to put things behind you and start moving forward. I do believe that because of the rantings specifically um, of particularly the South African side of things, those 50-50 decisions are not going our way. Um, and perhaps because referees are feeling at the time, listen, I'm going to get banged anyway for this, so let me just put that little grey area on the other side. Well, it's very Kempson's thoughts. I, I see slightly different, you know, I, I, and let's call names of it. Rossi comes out, he's hit a platform which has so much impact in terms of corporate sponsors, fans, and that's where the players live as well. They live on their phones. And, and uh, as much as we disagree with them for South Africa, but I think for me, for the game, we need to call out world rugby. Fully agree. There's one guy looking after 30 Oaks. Maybe it's time to have two refs. Maybe it's time to give more power to the TMO. Maybe it's time to give more power to the assistant referees, whereby a call is made. We've got 20-plus cameras. Let's mm. use them. Mm. That's what's on the pitch. Let's use them. Cricket's using it. F football's using it. You know, a guy would be two meters out for a run out. They'll still go and review. Was he out? Yes, he was. We could all see it daylight, but they're using the technology available. And rugby needs to evolve. Mm. Make sure that our rules are complicated as it is. You mm. can't expect one guy to make We've the right the call. Technology with that. Absolutely. They've had a chip in the ball where you can decide whether it's a forward pass or yeah. not a pass. You can decide impacts and all the rest of these things. So I think they take, I agree the technology is there. But again, um, you know, we, we can't week in, week out blame a referee. Um, I think we've got to get to a stage where, unfortunately, we have to play 10 percent above any other side that we play yeah. just to get parity. If that's the case in view of what's gone in the past, fantastic. I do believe our team has the ability to do that. And I think we did it this past weekend. I think we played way above our ability, particularly with that red card earlier on. Um, but to go at the end of the game and then you know, have a harsh blaming of a referee, I thought that was pretty consistent throughout. Uh, yes, he missed one or two hard vital calls the last 10 minutes. Referees under pressure do that, particularly with the crowd like I think, was. I So, think so I Robbie... take my hat off as a South African. Yeah. I put the hat off. I'm like, I'm a rugby person. Yeah, but exactly that. And, Robbie, I want to back you on yeah. this one. Exactly that. You know, if you're a rugby person, you should know it's 50-50 calls. You should know it's great. Last week, I went on a rampage on the ref, and we all feel like that. We think with our heart. But at the end of the day, it's a, we've got to think up, upstairs as well, up here, and think, what is the best for our players? 2018, we had a guy, Ruan Boeta, from Bloemfontein, educating us, staying in the hotel. And the whole topic that we're coming from, Rossi then, was... Listen, with a 50-50 goal, has got to go our way. Mm. Ruan spoke to Sia, how to treat them. Faf, don't. Vili now running in every time. So Bongi uh, gave him some words there. So he's just human. He wants to be a, give a fair deal. So those days, then, we went down to uh, New Zealand and we beat them in New Zealand five tries to four with mm -hmm. a perfect mindset. Nigel Owens was the ref. And he said afterwards to see I think, brilliant the way you handled it, the way you spoke to me. So my point is, from top down yeah. to the lowest guy, as far as refs is concerned, it's got to be a one concerted effort before the World Cup for all of us to get the refs, not only on our side, but to get the refs that we're not these guys that every time, if we lose, it's their fault. Is that's the, perspective, that, yeah. that's my, the my, feeling the people get out there. Is it fair for a professional team to spend their time trying to deal with an individual who's going to make human errors. Exactly. 2003, Rugby World Cup, forward pass, New Zealand get out the Rugby World Cup. Cameras were there. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they lost that game against France. That game should not have been lost. That game was a wrong call forward pass. If the call was made, technology, that game oh, forward scrammed our New Zealand ball. We China would have won the Rugby yeah. World Cup to 2003. I, I think what the I'm way saying forward. from a game point of view, we need somebody to stand up to the refs, to the world organization, because we're not going to appreciate them now, because we're going to say, but oh, but Rassi this, oh, but Rassi this, take it on the chin. Ten years from now, when rugby, world rugby decides, you know what, maybe that's not working, that's not working, and they change things for the betterment of the game. Simple thing, technology. Maybe Thank Rassi, you. because he's South African, we're having a go at him. Somebody needs to stand up saying, the refs, this, this, how do we improve without pointing fingers? So if we're not raising that there's an issue, we can week out, we can week out. They're humans. 30 oaks is too much. But we've got to change our strategy. That's what we've got to do. So, so for me, I'm saying, take away the South African hat. Take away that. The game itself. Yeah, it's team really A tough. playing Team B. I want the best result. The sure. best team must win. It must not be, oh, it was a forward pass. Oh, this guy fell off. The, he played on the ground. He shouldn't be. Rugby says must be played by somebody on their feet. All those things must get out the game. I it's complicated with the laws as it is. Yeah. Owen, oh, that will never change. Oh, no, it has to. Not be. while a human is refing it and he's got to make a call that he thinks is not forward and Robbie thinks it's forward. It's still, it will stay a 50 call. Though. What we should do is how we all react on that. Well, there should be a better forum, and I think there is forums. From Rossi down, you, you mentioned his name, down to every single one, the captain, the doctor, every single one. We have to get this ref. And, I, and it's sad to say it, we've got to get him somehow on forget, our side because it's the human Wait, factor. I want you to forget South Africa. I want you to think rugby. Team A playing Team B. It is the championship in the corner of the world. In the corner of the world. I just want the ref on the day to make the right call. And maybe Rassi is the one who's just saying, hey, world rugby, there is a challenge. You know, maybe, you know, after whatever he's banned, Twitter has not been included in the contract of things where he can say. Maybe he can tweet. No. Maybe he's allowed to tweet. Maybe other coaches need to stand up and say more. <laughs> maybe we need more guys to stand up and say more. Mm -hmm. Ten years from now, 20 years from now, next World Cup, we cannot be decided, oh, it was a forward pass, oh, this, that. We need the best team within the laws of the game to get the result. That's all I'm asking. I for. think you've got, just got to control your controllables because that's a reality. We've got to make sure that the p passes that we drop, we drop less. That if we play and do the thing, it's got to be more in the law. If you carry properly and you go through the game line, they won't, the, the, the ref will favour you. So there's so many aspects of this game, just the way you treat him. Treat him. If I run to Robbie like this and come on and turn this, he's straight away will think, OK, you can't talk to me like that. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. We, what can we control? From SA Rugby right through, we can only control what we can control. And that is how do we react on every situation. And I said, I'm the first one. Last week I went on a rampage. Because if you think of your heart, it's easy to happen. But we've got to make a big effort to change that.